It's almost hard to describe in words how many emotions I was feeling simultaneously. Driving up and getting out of the car and looking at the plantation and seeing how enormous it was, the mansion with the giant columns. Um, it was just overwhelming. I could feel just a wave of emotion, uh, almost like being in the, in the water when waves come hit, hit you um, one wave at a time. It just, each wave was a different emotion. It was, it was fear and sadness and happiness and anger uh, all just kept washing over me. I got a hint, a shaky leaf from Ancestry, and in that, there was a document that had a list of Negroes at Berry Hill Plantation, and on that were Darby Duncan and Lucy, his wife, and their son, Matt, who are all direct ancestors of mine. So it was very thrilled to find that out and have that connection to my past. Darby was the first chef for Berry Hill, and when we walked into Darby's Tavern, when I touched a pot that he, that was his pot that he cooked in and walked the ground that he walked on, I, I tried to put myself in his position. What was his daily life like? Was he treated well? Um, did he have help? How tired was he on a daily basis? Just because he must have had so much to do. Going to the slave cemetery here at Berry Hill was really very emotional just to see so many markings with no names. From what I understand from our tour guide that we had, that there were over 200 slaves buried there. Um, and all I could think about was all these people are here, they're buried, but no one knows who they are. All there are are maybe some pointed rocks as a headstone. And it was really tough for me to think that the custom of the day was not to even put a name on these graves. There's a lot of things I'll take, I'll take away from this, uh, but I think the most memorable things would be having my mother and my sister here and learning more about Darby Duncan and his life. I feel like it's changed a part of me because I feel such a deep connection to my family's history now. It started when I first found the name Darby Duncan and Lucy, Lucy Duncan, when I found those names, and could say these are my slave ancestors. But now, knowing more about them, walking the same places that they walked, touching the same things that they've touched, absolutely deepened my connection to my history and my family's history. And that's what I take away from this, is that the power of researching your family and finding out where you come from and then going to see that place.